Hey guys, so I've been testing these brushless motors for my underwater FPV Stingray drone and I pulled about a 26 amp peak current from each motor with my meter here and I measured about a 7.4 pound thrust from the meter and that is 30% less than the manufacturer's rating for these motors and justifiably so because this container is actually robbing a lot of the motor's power because of the cavitation due to you know it's being too close to the surface there and also the turbulence from the water slamming against the back wall of the container and it's also flexing the lid a bit i actually had to hold the fixture down because it wanted to take the whole lid off even with it clamped shut so these motors are, are pretty powerful now 7.4 pounds of thrust might not sound like a lot of thrust but that's actually capable of pulling a 370 pound boat. And if you use the manufacturer's rating, which is probably more accurate than mine, they should be able to propel a 573 pound boat. Now I wanna take this opportunity to kind of discuss the common misconception that more thrust equals more speed, and that's not the case. So the speed is determined by the RPM of the motor, the prop pitch, and the number of blades. So, you know, some people will wrongly assume that if they upgrade their trolling motor from a 30 pound trolling motor to, let's say like a 50 pound trolling motor, that they're gonna end up with more speed and that's not always the case. So these at max thrust are actually spinning at over 14,000 RPM. And one of the reasons I chose these motors was because of two main Amazon reviews. One where they used a single motor to propel a kayak and this other, I'm going to put a, the clip of the video of a guy who made an RC tugboat with one of these motors. And it was impressively fast, so I just kind of pulled the trigger and I'm glad that I did. Check it out. I was not expecting it to be this fast. You hadn't run it yet? So now that I'm happy with the testing of the motors, I have to finish the design of the actual body. So this is the rough sketch I drew up over a month ago. And so you can kind of see why I call it the Stingray, because I kind of want it to look like a Stingray, where the camera will be front and center. We have the thruster here, thruster here, and then a thruster in the tail. And then I have two diving lights that will be hooked up to the left and right of the camera. And uh, then we could start testing. But I mentioned in the last video, I have to actually pack up and move all of this, which is a nightmare. So I'll probably have to have a pause in between but I'll keep posting videos here. And as well, uh, if you're not already following me on Instagram, check out Instagram uh, at protogy42. Uh, kind of post more updates there. So anyway, hope you guys like the video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.